Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fourth episode. I mean, the fourteenth episode of my RPG Maker VS Ace video tutorials. In this episode, I will be showing you guys how to do animations. And if you like my videos, make sure to comment and like it. If you don't like it, make sure to comment and dislike it. And if you want to be updated every time I release a new video, make sure to click the um, subscribe button to be updated every time I release a new video. And without with that being said, let's start this tutorial. Set my time for 10 minutes. Okay. Well, tutorials, when you're starting your game, I suggest unless you really want to like change up all the animations i suggest you just keep the default ones already made and just add on to it and not just like delete it because that's a lot of good animations in here with that being said to make a new animation you basically change maximum and you change it to whatever and then it's going to change the maximum which is this which is how you do everything in the database so you go to your maximum i mean the new one that you created first you name it let's name this this animation all right graphics you get to pick two options so i mean two particle graphics to use as your animation so let's basically make an animation you could think of it like this it's basically making a flip book so let me go ahead and get something that looks nice and decent i like fire so let's go with this um let's see Um, I don't know what's going on here. That doesn't look nice. So let's use one of these. Mm. Yeah, let's use this one. All right. So basically, once you pick your two graphics, you get every um. Okay, let me I actually explain this to you. You get the max number. This max number basically sets the numbers over here so let's go ahead and make this 10 as you can see there's 10 each one is a page on your flip book remember think of it as a flip book so each one is a page on your flip book so i have 10 pages in my flip book including the um, front so this is basically what you do to make the animations you basically drag as you know you don't drag and drop you click and then you click on the screen where you want it to go and then you could drag it around to different positions let's put it right here okay then you go to your second page and then you pick the second frame in the thing and then you place it i'm gonna i'm gonna move it a little bit to make it seem like it's like slashing across um the previous animation on your flip book all this shows as shows up as blue so you could know exactly where your last animation was at be where your last animation was at so you could keep track of where you need to put your next animation see here the blue is like further up and here the blue is like down more so basically actually let's see what this look like looks like um how do you do this uh, clear Yay. that's moving way too fast so let me i'm gonna clear the whole I want to clear the whole, yeah, I'm going to clear the whole thing and start over. So let's start here. Just move it little by little. I'm trying to rush this because I have a, like a time limit. So it's, it might not look that nice when I'm done with it, but you should, it will teach you the basics of making a, It might look weird because I'm really not planning it out. All right. And let's also, you could add up to, I actually don't know up to how many you could add on, but let's see. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Just know you could add a lot of, um, 
a lot of these to your all right so i'm gonna go ahead and use this i actually wanted to come in like come in at eight oops i moved eight but uh okay i wanted to come out at eight right there i'm gonna make it move a little bit fast so i'm gonna be skipping So that's well. This is a rough example of how you make a um animation. So basically, that's the process you would go through if you're making an animation. You position all these in the right places. Um, for each one you pick, like if you put more than one and anim one animation slide on the same um page, it's basically just gonna keep giving it a new number. That way, you could better keep track of it. Okay, let me delete all these extra ones. And as you can see on the on the animation thing, that's a green square that goes around the centerpiece, which is the monster right there. And then that's a line that I mean that's a that's a cross that um directly connects to the center of the of the enemy. So basically, this is your um field of view weird um when you're in a battle this is what you're going to be seeing and the middle is the center of the battle so you basically playing your skills i mean how your animation is going to look within the border of this green line okay you could also change your target if you don't want that assassin and you want to see what it will look like on another monster you go ahead and pick um change target on um, position this one is also I mean, this is okay. In position, you get one, two, three, four. You get four options. Head just um positions, just moves down the enemy down so like you could see its head. Center just sent. I mean, actually, hold on. Head basically just puts the middle of the um of the cross that's going through it to the head of the monster. Center puts the crosses to the center of the monster. Um, feet puts it at the puts the um center to the feet of the monster, and screen basically just puts the enemy based on the screen. And you could have a max of um I don't know nine 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 maybe. No, you could have a max of two hundred of these. I don't. Some people you might get crazy and do a lot, but remember when I make my games, I usually generally use these unless I have like something special in mind then i would make my own um let me check up on my time eight minutes all right <clears throat> okay for each let me go ahead and make this 10 again okay for each page that you're on you get to actually hold on with se and flash timing what this basically does is like it makes your enemy flash or it plays a it plays a sound effect so when you hit like it plays a hit sound effect like if you hit someone with a sword it plays a sound of i mean the sound effect for um for a sword being hit in the monster or and then the flash basically just makes your monster flash right like when you slash it it slashes right to show that it, the monster has been damaged so basically what you do is go right click and you edit it and then you get to pick your frame, which is basically the um pages one to ten that I was that I made. So let's pick page seven. Pick a sound effect um damage. Okay, no attack. Play it to see what it sounds like. Okay, no, that's not what I want. Um damage or sword. Hmm. Okay, slash. Let's do slash. Okay. So now you get to pick what you want the flash to be on. You could want the you could have the flash on the target or the screen itself or I don't I really don't know what the high target mean. I mean, I think it just like makes the target like disappear then reappear. And then you get to pick how long you want it to go on for duration meaning one frame. Okay, whatever. I, I don't 
um strength is basically um i mean not strength this whole red green blue and strength is basically the color of the flash you want general generally you want it to be red unless like you're making a hill then you make it blue and then if you're making it absorb then you make it green and strength is basically how strong it is how strong i think the saturation i don't really know but basically how strong the colors are um duration i forgot what this is yeah my time is up so but i'm basically done with this um duration is basically how long you want this sound effect and flashing to last actually it's how um like let's say you're on frame six and you make it last for five frames i mean let's say you're on frame five and you make it last for five frames basically it's going to keep on flashing throughout the um throughout the animation to frame 10 and if you're on frame one and you want it to last three it's going to last up to the third page okay now let's finish explaining these um options on the right side paste last basically just puts the last thing that you had on here so paste last will paste it again for you copy frames will basically just copy these frames and you can multi multiple you can copy multiple frames at one time so you could just paste it over again so you could this basically says copy frame one through ten to one that means i'm gonna basically copy all of these and i'm gonna start at one to paste them so if i picked copy frames and then i pick two it's gonna start it at two so i'm gonna have 11 frames instead of actually i should have um i don't think it updates how many things you have but it's basically just like copies um all of these but one i mean it copies one but it doesn't like one and two now are the same if you can't see it but i don't think you can um clear frames basically just clears the frames one through ten let me go ahead and clear that we bring this off my next example tween in um i definitely know what tween in means but i haven't this is actually i think is new to rpg maker vs ace but i don't know about tween in but i know tween in because i do some animations but Basically, um, I think this is a motion tween. Basically, it just moves the, um, the, what do you call it? It moves the animation, the animation for you. So, basically, if I make this 10 frames and I make this cell 1 to cell 16, um, position, zoom, angle. Let me take that back, take that out. Basically, when I play this, it should move. oh okay it doesn't move it for you basically just like does this automatically for you so hold on i'm tuning in position one through 16. what so basically what that does is just like um do um it basically does this for you so you don't have to like keep on going you don't have to keep on like putting these and making sure that it matches up. You could just do that and it will do it for you. Um, cell batch. I have no idea what that means. So I'm not even going to try to explain it to you. Entire slide. Uh, okay, this is basically if you want to move the entire slide at the same time. So you can move it to an XY location, which you can tell by right clicking. Oh, wait, no. What? I forgot what button it was. But you could find out by the numbers at the bottom right but you can't really see it on my screen because it's white and the numbers are white and play basically just plays the animation for you and that's it for this episode next episode i shall be covering top sets which is going to be kind of hard and yeah thank you guys again for watching make sure to subscribe to be updated every time i release a new video and i will see you guys on the next episode